When Dan and I started the band in 2001, all we wanted to do was make an album. And uh, when we finished that first record, that's when we found out that we had to start touring. I didn't even think about tour. I mean, we toured in a, a four-door rental car. You know, we had like the drums in the trunk, the merch and the guitar amp in the back seat. The first few tours, we were sleeping in the van, we couldn't afford hotel rooms, and it was all about the show. We had no money. We had never, never been to any of the towns we were going to. By the time we got home from that tour, we were addicted. We just never came off the road. Since we've started, we've gradually played bigger and bigger and bigger places that it was, we never had that shock of going into a giant room. It, it doesn't really matter what size room we play in, you can still make that connection to people. We still approach the, the concert the same way. It's all about the performance. Let's go! I used to just daydream about what it would be like to be on tour and to be in a band, you know, and just never understood it, never, and I never, never really thought it would ever happen. I mean, it was a lot of hard work, but I'm pretty fortunate to be able to do what I love. Some of these recent shows we played in big arenas have been just absolutely electric. The roar could kind of knock you over when you got on stage. What really matters most is that the audience has that connection, that they're, real, that they're excited. This is the most fun tour I think Dan and I have ever been on. Getting to get in front of the fans and play for people and meet new people and see new things is the best aspect of, of being a musician. One thing that Dan and I don't take for granted is getting the opportunity to play to people who really want to listen. We'll see you down the road. Take care. Thank you, DC.